everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate facebook login in a native ios application so let's get started so firstly you will have to come to this particular url <coughs> then you will have to click on this create new tab i have opened it inside a new uh, tab inside my browser so just uh, right click and open this create new app inside a new tab uh, and here you can just click on uh, create new app uh, so I'll just uh, sorry I'll just quickly close this and then open it again because I want to show you few things uh, so uh, here it will ask you few questions suppose if you are uh, creating an app for the very first time it might also ask you your mobile number so just do those mobile number verification steps then you will see something like this just click on next here I will select authenticate and request data from users with Facebook login click on next and here i will select no i am not building a game i'll click on next here i will enter my app name so i'll just enter it as my awesome ios app name it whatever you feel like and here you can enter your email address i'll click on next again uh, then here i will just click on create app so here i will enter my password i'll click on submit uh, now once uh, this is done it should create an app for us uh, okay so it has created an app for us the next thing what you can do is uh, if you are publishing it to the uh, apple app store you will have to go to the publish section and uh, here you will have to enter your privacy url data deletion url you can find this all this all of this stuff inside uh, app settings basic section as well so you will have to enter all this uh, things but i am not deploying it to app store <coughs> so i will keep it as blank uh, next uh, inside use cases I will just select use cases and here I will se select this customize button so here you can see it is only giving access to public profile by default but I also want the user's email address so here I will click on this particular add button over here so once this ad is selected okay so this is done then I will again I will go back to the previous tab which I had and from select search from your app I will select my app okay you cannot be displayed okay so I think uh, this was just because I uh, immediately created the app so I what I'll do is that uh, I will just do an hard refresh once this is done I will search for your app again I will select my app okay then here as you can see I have created a native iOS application now uh, uh, to add this we need to make use of a swift package manager so just copy this particular url so just copy link and go to your ios project i am using ui kit but if you want you can use swift ui as well i would recommend to use ui kit because we need to make few changes inside app delegate as well as scene delegate and those both of these uh, files are not present in uh, swift ui uh, so i'm not really sure how to go that about uh, doing in Swift UI because the documentation is still uh, using UI kit or UI kit template I would say then just click on file add package dependencies and here just enter this particular URL which we have then you will see something like this click on add package uh, like uh, and then you will see something like this and from this we just have for Facebook core just select your <coughs> whatever is your app name <coughs> I have already added this to my app that's why it is not allowing me to select again make sure this is not none but uh, whatever is your app name or runner name uh, same you will have to do for Facebook login as well again I have already added this that's why it is not allowing me to add it and then just click on add package <coughs> once you do that if you go to your project here you can see the Facebook dependency has been added for us okay let's see the documentation what it says now so this is done then here we will have to enter our bundle identifier so i will quickly enter my bundle identifier so this is my bundle identifier i'll copy it and i'll paste it over here and i'll click on save then uh, inside info.plist you will have to copy the source code just keep click on copy i have already copied it so for info.plist you just have to right click open as source code okay and here as you can see I have already copied this stuff so this is the stuff which it was referring to so I have already copied this 
okay then here uh, so you can see this is the entire thing so here we will have to change few things so first one is the uh, replace app id with your own app id so here you might be seeing uh, fb app dash id right so to get the app id again go back to your app go to settings go to basic and here you can see this is my app id i'll copy it and this fb would be common for all followed by our app id so i'll just replace my app id over here similarly over here this should be app id as well then we require the client token so for that go to the advanced section and from over here i can just copy this client token and i will just paste it over here okay uh, next uh, you will have to uh, add some uh, display name as well so change it to whatever you feel like okay again i will go back to the documentation that's what uh, this all thing says then we also need to copy this so i have also copied this and pasted inside my info.p list over here okay then we have to add keychain capabilities so for that you can just go to your runner uh, go to sign in and capabilities just click on plus capability and uh, search for keychain i have already added it so it is that's why it is not displaying me uh, displaying it to me again so here you can see i have already added keychain sharing so yeah you can use the same thing uh, okay so this is done then here inside app delegate we have to write some bit of code so if i go to my app delegate i have imported facebook core as it was mentioned then we have to write this bit of code as well so we already have this method and it we already have this return true by default so we just have to copy paste this bit of code so as you can see over here they have added this code so i just copy pasted this code also have copy pasted this uh, one more method which they have like you open url options key so as you can see i have copy pasted uh, this bit of code as well as you can see over here okay uh, so this is done next we have to move to scene delegate file as well so just go to scene delegate and here you have to import facebook core again and as you can see we have to open url context so here i have copy pasted that particular method as well from the documentation so here you can see this is the entire thing then we have to uh, add the facebook login code so i have just went to my view controller over here i have imported facebook login as well as facebook core okay uh, i'll move this two methods at the very bottom because i don't want to confuse confuse you guys as well as this okay so here we are extending one delegate called login button delegate and it uh, asks us to implement these two methods like this login button as well as login button did log out so once the login button uh, login is successful we get a token and from that we call this fetch user profile method and if logout is successful this gets printed so this method gets called okay and if you see my ui i am just creating an fb login button programmatically and i am adding it to our view and the permissions which i am giving it is public profile as well as email this code is just to check suppose if you have already logged in then you closed your app you are uh, opening your app for the very second time then uh, this particular code is helpful so we are just checking if we have the access token or not uh, if we already have the access token then we can redirect the user to some other view controller okay so for this you can use this particular thing and again a user is logged in and i'm just calling fetch user profile so if you see the fetch user profile we have to use something called graph request and here you can specify what all things you require i am just using id name as well as email and in case of any error i am just printing it to the console here we are getting user info and if it has email i am printing it to the console similarly for name as well as with id so that's what it has been mentioned over here so here you can see they have added this facebook login button this is for checking whether the user is already logged in or not this is for asking permission yeah so i'll quickly run my app and show you the output so hopefully this should be pretty quick okay so here you can see this particular button and uh, here you can see that it has not printed that uh, user already logged in so this is not printed out again this is like all junk data from facebook sdk i don't know why they
print so much data so here if i click on continue with facebook so he, okay i think i pressed it twice that's why it so i'll just press it again and here i will click on continue here i will just quickly uh, like if you're uh, uh, doing it for the okay <laughs> like i don't know why this all this stuff i love all cookies okay and here you can see i had already signed in like for my practice before recording this video so I, it has already presented okay do you want to continue with this user yeah continue and uh, to be uh, just to make it clear to you like i don't have any facebook app installed uh, it opens a web browser or a web view for us and in that you can enter the credential now if i scroll down here you can see all the details have been printed out and also the button automatically changes to log out now if i uh, if i try to rerun my app again i'll quickly clear the console as well you should be able to see this user is logged in uh, over here so here you can see user is logged in and it also printed the details again because i am calling fetch user profile and if you uh, want to log out i'll again clear the console if i click on log out click log out here you can see user logged out so this got printed uh, where is it this got printed so yeah that's it now uh, if you are wondering where exactly we are using fetch inside fetch user profile we are not using the token because that is automatically done by the facebook hdk so we don't have to worry about it yeah that's it thank you for watching bye